Hey everyone, my name is Mariah and today I've paired up with Bare Minerals to create this really easy, effortlessly glamorous summer makeup look. 10 steps that can be done in under 10 minutes. I used a handful of products just to keep it really simple and really easy to recreate. So if you guys would like to try your hand at recreating it, then just keep on watching. So for the first step, I'm going to be going in with the Complexion Rescue. How I like to do this is apply this just right to the skin. I like it to really act as a hydrating moisturizer and foundation mix into one. So I just rub it into the skin really well, get it worked into the pores, and then I go over that with a damp beauty sponge just to uh, lock in that moisture even more because my skin is pretty dry and I find that this product is very hydrating and still provides a decent amount of coverage. So if you have any skin concerns, it's really easy to build it up and get the coverage that you prefer. To brighten up the face, I'm going to be using the Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. I like to apply this beneath the eye and kind of drag it out toward the uh, top of my cheekbone. I also apply it on the bridge of the nose right there, as you can see, just to brighten up the area a little bit so that I get a good wash of brightness. This product is very brightening for how light coverage it is. It's not a full coverage product, but it is very effective. So I like to use it also on other areas of the face because it is so lightweight. And when you sweat, when it's hot out, it doesn't seem to get like slimy or heavy on the skin. It just retains its coverage kind of gets a little bit dewy, but because it's so lightweight, it doesn't uh, like slip slide around or anything. To set the face, I'm gonna be using the Perfecting Veil. I like to take this on a brush and just kind of dot it around the areas that I tend to notice my makeup slip sliding around in the heat. So mainly in the center of the forehead, um, the jawline, and then also around the nose and the mouth. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using one of the 5-in-1 cream shadows, and I'm just going to be applying this uh, from the tube, then blending it out with my finger, and then kind of setting it into the skin with a damp beauty sponge. I just find that this shadow is not only a really great base color, but it also acts really well as a primer for anything that you put over it. So it's really easy to slap it on if this is all you want to do, or you can build on it with uh, some other colors. So today I'm going to be using Warmth, which is also our bronzer. I wanted to use a product that I could tie in on the eyes and cheeks because I find that this really saves time when you're doing your makeup quickly. So I'm just going to be applying this to the crease with a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just shaping this into um, a shape that I find most flattering for my eye, which is kind of an elongated V shape. And I'm also taking that below the lower lash line and then also dragging that out toward the tail of the brow to kind of solidify the diffusion to be uh, that shape just because it makes my eyes look a little bit more almond shaped and a little bit more open And like I mentioned, I'm also going to be bronzing up with warmth. It's an all-over face color I find that it works very well in the eyes as well. It's very easily blendable So I'm just going to be applying this a little bit differently than normal I'm going to be putting it on the areas where I would actually get a tan if I went out in the Sun as you can see I'm very fair So this product is something I need because I don't really like to go in the Sun So just applying it on the bridge of the nose forehead all over the cheeks And I also do hit up the chest a little bit off-camera for blush, I'm going to be using Ready Blush in the shade The One, and I'm also going to be applying this where I would naturally get a little bit of a sunburn, so right high up on the apples of the cheeks toward the eyes a little bit, blending all the way back up toward the temple, and I'm also going to be dusting some of that across the bridge of the nose. This is all to create a really natural sun-kissed look. Like you want to look as if you kind of just were at the beach for a few days is the vibe that I'm going for. So for the lips, I'm going to be using the Under Over Lip Liner in the shade Borderline, and I'm just going to be... Uh, evening out the shape of my lips because they are a little bit asymmetrical and then I'm also going to be Filling in with that shade to give our lipstick something to lock onto. and the shade We're going to be using is the gin nude radiant lipstick in the shade kitty. This is a really pretty warm Light corally nude shade. It's very hydrating has a nice kind of uh, Semi glossy finish and I'm just going to apply one layer with that and then pat it into the lips and then to finish everything off, I'm using the Lash Domination Mascara in Intense Black. I'm just going to be applying one coat to the top lashes. This mascara, in my opinion, is effective and very lengthening and volumizing, so I really didn't need to go in with two coats. So that wraps up today's look. I really hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to follow Bare Minerals to see more tutorials, videos, and images like this.